Hey guys, welcome back. So today we have an Elantra. Um, I'm replacing the rear brakes on this. As you can see there, there's some too much scoring or brake pads there. It's metal to metal. I'm replacing the caliper because it sees. So I'm gonna remove the caliper first, remove the rotors, clean it and then we're gonna replace that caliper itself because this is a parking brake as you can see here in the caliper um you will not see it all right there's a cable there um i don't have my lights so there's a cable in here we're gonna do that so i'll remove first the caliper here so that's 14 mm so most of the time without the shoes the parking brake is in the caliper so i think on veloster um i think hyundai accent almost the same uh, process so i'm just removing that Now we're gonna remove our caliper bracket itself that's 14 mm in here so so as you can see our pads there there's nothing left right so um i'm just gonna remove our rotors Oh. I'm just gonna remove these uh, retaining screws here. So I'm just gonna hammer this. Uh, don't forget your safety glass. And then I'm just gonna clean our hub surface, right? Same thing, don't forget your safety glass. And then we're gonna clean this outer um, on the hub. Okay. So after that, um, I'm just gonna apply some brake lube because it says here too it's uh resist moisture salt heat or cold right so that for the next guy who will be doing the brakes it's gonna be easier for him it's not gonna be seized or anything okay and then let me grab the disc Okay, here's our disc. Oh, that's the wrong way. I'm 
And then let's just put this screws. You don't have to go crazy on this, just hand tight. That's good enough. Okay, so now before we put our bracket, we're gonna replace our caliper. So let's move on this side. So first we're gonna be removing this retaining clip here for our cable. So just use a long screwdriver or a pry bar. Just hammer it down. Maybe you can put some apply some penetrating fluid there there I can remove that clip Okay, that's out. So here's that retaining clip that looks like. So it should be facing like that when you install it back. And next is we're gonna remove our cable. So let me adjust the camera again. Okay, so I guess you can see there. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a channel lock. I'm just going to compress this lever here and here so I can remove that cable. Oh, that's seized, man. The parking brake is seized. Oh, that's not moving. Okay, that's not moving. <laughs> Okay, it moved a little bit. Okay, so that's out. That should go back to its position. Because there's a spring here, um, but I guess there's a problem also in our parking brake um, mechanism there. Okay, so that's out. So, and then we're gonna remove our um, brake hose for the caliper. Okay, so we're ready to remove this guy here. Um, just prepare your um, washers. Um, you should use um, new ones because if you reuse it, there's a chance that it will leak. So it's best practice that every time you remove a brake line hose there for the caliper, um, use a brand new gasket. So. Um, just 12 mm there some other guys they use a vice grip here on the hose itself but I don't do that um, usually too that every time I 
do a caliper repair um, I recommend a brake fluid service at least there we're gonna replace our brake fluid and did the system so put your gaskets there put in your new caliper then we're just gonna snag this and then we're gonna torque that later so same thing with our with our cable we're gonna compress this thing the parking brake mechanism and then we're just gonna shoot the oh, So that's in. And now let me grab that clip. Okay. So just put your clip in there. Alright. And just hammer it there. Yeah. Okay. So that's good. Now let's go back. On the um, disc area, we're gonna install our bracket. So here's our bracket here. And usually when we order a new caliper, it comes with a new bracket. So I'm just gonna put our new shims for our pads. You know what, let me put some um, lube here again. Don't go crazy on it, just slight application in there. Okay, so now we're gonna install this to the um, knuckle. Just gonna snug this. And then we got torque them. Just so for the knuckle, oh uh, knuckle, for the caliper bolt uh, bracket, that's 54 foot pound. Okay, that's good. Okay, that's good. Now I'm just going to put our pads in. So just apply some um, brake um, loop there on our edges of the pads. For the brake hose bolt, that's 21 foot pound. 
uh, just your core branch for 21. Okay. So now our next um, process will be bleeding the calipers. Um, I think I believe I show different kinds of of my process, different processes on how I bleed the brick to it. So let's see what what will work on this um, special type of the reservoir. Alright guys, so I use my um, special tool here just to pressurize the system. Before you do that, just use a vacuum um, tool to take out the dirty fluid from the reservoir and you can top it up. So now let's go to that left rear side and we're gonna open that um, bleeder screw since the system right now is pressurized at least um what do call that should be it open okay so i'm just gonna open this guy here put our bottle tropicana bottle <laughs> and then we're just gonna watch for the bubbles So I'll just wait for a little bit. This will lead to if you're gonna do a caliper. Um, if you did all four already, which caliper that you replace? Usually, what I do is I go the second time around just to double check that there's no more air in that system or in that caliper just to double check right so far no air coming out so I'm just gonna close that then I'm just gonna do the rest come back here and then we'll check our operation of our parking brake and our um, brakes itself okay so I'm just gonna do one more just to double check that there's no more air on this side here I see some a little bit okay, that should be enough so that's good and then just clean your mess in there whatever mess you have and don't forget your cover there and now um, I'm just gonna pull the handbrake and let's see if our mechanism there for our parking brake is working properly okay so I'm turning now the disc and then I'm gonna pull the handbrake. And my disc should not move. So that's not moving. So that's good. So I'm just gonna put our tires and torque them and then we're gonna go for a test drive, make sure our brake system works normally. Alright guys, so, so far the test drive for this vehicle is good, um, I don't hear any noise, especially when we touch the brakes at the back, um, the brake pedal feels okay, good, um, that's it, so I hope you enjoyed that video and don't forget to like and subscribe and see you next time, thank you for watching.